Jubal Anderson Early was born on November 3, 1816's parents, Job and Ruth. He was born in Red Valley section of Franklin County, Virginia. As a young student, Jubal worked very hard. He attended private academies in Lynchburg and Danville. Jubal Early entered West Point in 1833. He graduated from the U.S. Military Academy in 1837. He finished 18th out of 50 in his class. Stand! Ready! Aim! Fire! Before he served in the Civil War, Jubal Early served in the Seminole Wars in Florida as second lieutenant in the 3rd U.S. Artillery Regiment. He was also practicing law until he joined the Mexican-American War. He served as major with the 1st Virginia from 1847 to 1848. Yeah. Jubal Early then joined the Confederacy when the Civil War took place. On May 5th in 1862, he fought in the Battle of Williamsburg in York County, James City County, and Williamsburg. During the battle, he detached a brigade and posted them on the grounds of College of Williamsburg and Mary. But the Union won that battle. Another battle Jubal Early fought in was the Battle of Antietam on September 17, 1862 on Antietam Creek in Sharpsburg, Maryland. He held a brigade pushing through the West Woods. He was injured in the lower half of his body, but he also impressed Lee in that battle. On December 13, 1862, Jubal fought in another battle. This battle was the Battle of Fredericksburg, which took place in Virginia. The Confederacy led a counterattack that drove the Union forces that were led by George Meade, which had broken through the Confederate defensive line, and the Confederates won. In the Battle of Chancellorsville on April 30, 1863, in Spotsylvania County, Virginia, Jubal Early observed the Union and tried to postpone any action. He was in charge of Fredericksburg and to confront Hooker. The Confederates won that battle. After the Confederacy lost the war, Jubal Early then fled to Mexico. From Mexico, Jubal Early then traveled through the Caribbean on a boat. He then settled in Canada. Jubal then received a pardon telling him he was allowed to come back to the States, and that he did. In 1869, he returned to Lynchburg, Virginia, and continued his practice in law. Jubal Early was also one of the most influential members of the Lost Cause in the, the South. The Cause is the right cause. After the Civil War, we were torn apart. We were starving and dying. We have to reconstruct and give states the independence they deserve, so the citizens have more of a say. Jubal Early then died in 1894 in Lynchburg, Virginia at age 77. Go! Cool.